friends, welcome to DK Online. My name is Miss Sasha, and thank you for joining us today. We're so happy to see you. Before we begin, let's pray. Father God, I thank you for your word and for this lesson. Help us to remember that you will always love us. We thank you for everything, and we thank you for this fun time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, let's get ready for worship. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset, His love is still forgiving me. And it's all because, all because, His love isn't just a little bit. He loves me a whole lot. Today, we're meeting with our friends at the clubhouse. So let's have a seat, put our listening ears on, and place our hands on our lap for this amazing lesson. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. to see you today. As you can tell, I'm having so much fun. Do you know what I'm doing? That's right, I'm building a super duper sandcastle. And everyone knows that a super duper sandcastle needs a moat. I'm going to dig and dig and dig all the way around my sandcastle. Hey, I better start getting to work. <laughs> This is taking so long and I've been working so hard. I don't know if I can do this by myself. What am I gonna do? Who? Who? It's Zoe! Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Digging a moat, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying to. It's been taking so long and I've been working so hard and I'm feeling kind of frustrated, Ollie. I'm sorry you're feeling so blue, but I have just the story for you. Listen to this. 
Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. There you go, you got it! Oh, hi friends! Stormy and her friend Goldie are playing ball. For a while, Goldie was trying to hold the ball on her nose by herself, and it was hard. But then Stormy came to help, and now they're playing! <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? They help each other! Which reminds me of a story! Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus walking into a city to do some important work when a centurion came up to him. Wow, look at that cool armor he's wearing. Centurions were leaders in the army. They were big and important, but this centurion believed that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, he said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. Now remember, Jesus was busy. He was on his way to do important work. But do you think that stopped him from helping the centurion? <laughs> no way! Jesus said, Do you want me to come to your house and make him better? But the centurion said, Jesus, you are way too special to come to my house. I know you can just say it and he will get better. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus told the centurion to go home and the servant would be all better. And he was! Wow! Jesus is such a good friend! Jesus heard someone needed his help, and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever, because he loves you very much. Oh, hey there, Ollie! Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true! Now let's hear it from you! Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye! So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and he can help all of us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! That was such a great story. Jesus helped the centurion when he needed him, and Jesus can help all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what? I'm gonna pray and ask Jesus if he can keep helping me to keep working hard and finish this moat. And I may ask a few friends to help me too. I'll see you next time. Bye! A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Jesus helped the centurion because he loved him. The centurion used his faith so his servant was healed without Jesus visiting his home. Friends, who loves you? Jesus loves you. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us. Thank you that Jesus is always with us, listening and ready to help. Please remind us to ask Jesus for help when we need it. We believe Jesus can help us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, everyone. Don't forget to share this lesson with everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>